Welcome to our insightful tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many data scientists encounter when working with logistic regression models in Python's Sclern library. Our viewer is curious about how to effectively use cross-validation and the AUC ross scoring method to evaluate their model. They've shared a code snippet and are seeking clarity on why they need to pass the outcome variable instead of the predicted probabilities. Let's break down this question and uncover the best practices for using cross-val score in this context. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To evaluate a logistic regression model using cross-validation in Sclern, we can utilize the cross-val score function. This function allows us to assess the model's performance using different scoring metrics. In your code snippet, you have defined the features and outcome variables. The features are the independent variables, while the outcome is the dependent variable that we want to predict. When using cross-val score, you need to pass the actual outcome variable, y, instead of the predicted probabilities. The function handles the model fitting and generates the probabilities internally during cross-validation. The scoring method ROCK-OS is indeed compatible with cross-val score. It calculates the area under the rock curve based on the predicted probabilities generated during the cross-validation process. In summary, you do not need to manually calculate probabilities. Just provide the features and the actual outcomes to cross val score, and it will take care of the rest, including calculating the AUC rho C. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To evaluate a logistic regression model using cross-validation and AUC ROCK and Sclern, you use the cross-val score function. This function trains the model on your input data and compares the predictions to the true values, which you provide as Y. For calculating the AUC ROCK score, you utilize the ROCK AUK score function. This requires both the true values and the predicted values from your model, which are based on your input features. And that's it guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe, I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.